Am I not here, I who am your mother? Are you not under my shadow and protection? Am I not the source of your joy? Are you not in the hollow of my mantle and the crossing of my arms? Do you need anything more? Let nothing else worry you or disturb you. These are the words spoken from Our Lady of Guadalupe to St. Juan Diego, whose feast we celebrate today in preparation for the Feast of Our Lady coming up on Saturday. These are words of great compassion and gentle strength and hope. Juan Diego, who, despite receiving a, a mystical charge, was heavily burdened and had much anxiety, in this case over the illness, uh, the grave illness of his uncle. And yet Our Lady says, am I not here? Am I not your mother? Do I not care for you? This message is the same message that we hear as a consistent refrain in all of the readings today. It is a set of readings that is meant to be a respite, a strength, for those who are weary, for those who are heavily burdened. In the first reading from the prophet Isaiah, we hear uh, the words of, of God who says, I am the strength for those who are weary. Those who are in me will run and not grow weary. I will be their strength. The psalm as always tells us the Lord is our strength. But the gospel, the beautiful words of Jesus, come, take, your, take my mantle upon you. My yoke is easy, my burden light. Come, you who are weary, I will give you rest. We're reminded at this time, uh, the season of Advent, as we get near the shortest day of the year. In a sense, physically, our world, it's the darkest. We're, we're nearing that darkest point of the year when the day is short, when the sun goes, you know, rises the latest, goes down the earliest. It's a, it's a dark day. The temperatures get colder. And at this time of year in Advent, we prepare with, with great hope uh, and rejoicing. We, we celebrate Gaudete Sunday, the Sunday, to rejoice. Rejoice, the Lord is near. And yet, we can feel heavily burdened. The pandemic that just never ends, and not just the pandemic, but its impact, the way our lives are changed or different, or that we're prevented from doing the things uh, that bring us comfort. Or perhaps, you know, it's the ongoing. We've suffered through a difficult election season that just seems to linger and never end. You know, there's so many things that just the, 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 the negative news or the burdens or the drains seem ever present. And yet we can get so easily distracted by all of these things and our eyes get blinded or taken off of the morning star, the source of our hope, the source of our rejoicing. Just as Our Lady said to Juan Diego, reminding him that she was his loving mother, the Lord reminds us that his yoke is easy and his burden right. He will give us rest. The Lord will be our strength. Let us not seek strength or provision in the passing and unreliable things of this world, but may we fix our eyes on the dawn the coming horizon, the rising of the morning star. Rejoice, the Lord is near. St. Juan Diego, pray for us.